Hello everyone, it's Beck and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be gathering the materials that we need to open our store, Nook's Cranny. I am currently on day one of a new island. Now on day two, you will be asked by Timmy to go around and collect materials that he needs. And he will ask for one stack of each type of wood, which is regular wood, soft wood and hard wood. And he will also ask for one stack of iron nuggets. Collecting the wood isn't really an issue because we do have heaps and heaps of trees on our island. However, collecting the iron is a little bit more difficult. To collect iron, you need to hit the rocks on your island with an axe or a shovel. And out of those rocks, you will get iron, clay or stone. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and get a bit of a head start. I'm going to go around and hit all of my rocks and hit my trees to try and collect as many materials as I can. Everyone has six of these rocks on their island. Unfortunately, when you first start the game, you can't actually access them all. In my experience from all of the times that I have restarted, what I have noticed is that on the first day, you will have three rocks on the main part of the island and you will have one on the opposite side of a river and another one on top of a cliff. And then on the second day, a fourth one will spawn on the main part of your island. I'm not saying that is definite and that is what happens to everyone. However, that is what I have noticed when I've been playing the game. Now, like I said, to get the materials out of the rock, you need to hit it with either an axe or a shovel. We don't have a shovel yet. We won't get that until tomorrow. So all I have at the moment is a flimsy axe. Personally, I prefer the shovel. It is a lot quicker and you can get more items out of each rock. Now, one thing I do need to mention is I do not recommend eating fruit before you hit a rock. If you eat fruit, it gives your character extra powers. And if you hit a rock when you have fruit in your character's system, so to speak, it will actually smash the rock. And for every rock that you smash, it does take one day for it to respawn back on your island. So definitely do not eat any fruit before you go around to hit any of your rocks. Now, the reason why I prefer using the shovel is because the faster you hit a rock, the more materials you will get out of it. And when you hit it, you do bounce back a little bit. So that is why I prefer the shovel because you can dig holes behind you so that your character doesn't bounce back as much when you hit the rock. Although seeing as today all I have is the axe, what I've actually done is I've gone and caught a sea bass and I'm going to place that behind me to try and stop me from bouncing back so much. So I'm going to go around and hit them now to see how many materials I can get out of them. Okay, so I've gone around and hit the three rocks that I could get to. I got six pieces of iron, six stone and two clay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around and hit all of the trees that I can get to and collect as much wood as I can. Now, I already done this before I started recording, but I do recommend before you hit your trees for wood is to go around and shake them with your net in your hand. In your non-fruit trees every day, you will find five wasps. And you can catch them if you have your net in your hand already. When they fall out of the tree, your character will automatically turn towards them. So then all you have to do is press A to catch it. And if you shake the trees, you can also find bells and items in them as well. Okay, so I have gone around and hit all of my trees and I have got stacks of wood ready to go. While I was doing that, I also came across a balloon in the sky that had five iron nuggets in it, so I've got 11 now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip forward one day so I can trigger the conversation with Timmy to get started on the shop. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, so we're now on day two on our island. Lathers is here, so we can go and see him and get the DIYs for the shovel and the vaulting pole. Our airport is also open so we can go on a mystery island tour and gather materials from there as well. However, before I go and see Blathers, I'm going to go and see Timmy about opening Nook's Cranny. I'm just going to go in and see Blathers and get the DIYs for the shovel and the vaulting pole and then I'm going to go and craft some. Along my travels, I also ran into Biff and he gave me five more iron nuggets to go towards building the shop. And you will see here what I mean about using the shovel to dig holes behind you. It is much easier to get items out of a rock this way and I did get 8 items this time. So I also unlocked the Nook Miles achievement called Rock Splitter and that is worth 500 miles. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I have actually done pretty well. I've already got 28 iron nuggets. I only need two more for the shop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run around and hit all of my trees. And then I'm going to go on a mystery island tour to get the last few items that I'm going to need. Now, normally a Nook Miles ticket does cost 2,000 miles to buy. However, at the start of the game, Tom does gift you one and it is sitting at the airport for you. So I'm going to go ahead and use that now. When I go to Mystery Islands, I try to get as many things as I can. I hit all of the rocks, I hit all of the trees. I collect fruit, I collect weeds and flowers if I need them. I also scour the beach for any DIYs because sometimes you do find a DIY there as well. Also, before you hit the trees on a Mystery Island, you do need to go around and shake them with your net. On every Mystery Island, you will find one wasp and one furniture item in the trees. Also, if any of your tools break and you don't have the materials to make one, you can buy some of Wilbur. They are 100 miles each. You can buy a net, an axe, a shovel or a fishing rod. Okay, so I think I have everything I need now. I'm going to go back to my island and go and see Timmy about building Nook's Cranny. Alright, so I have gone and seen Timmy and I have laid down the plot for the shop. It only takes one day to be built so I am going to time skip ahead to tomorrow and go check it out. So this is our Nook's Cranny. This is the small version. It does upgrade after 30 days. And you also have to spend, I think it's about 200,000 bells for it to upgrade as well. When you first enter the shop, this is when you meet Mabel for the first time. She will eventually open a clothing store on your island so keep an eye out for her. And when you first go in and speak to Timmy and Tommy, they do rattle on quite a bit, so do pay attention to what they're saying because I didn't the first time I played it and I missed out on a lot of useful information. However, the basic layout of the store is the first two items that you see at the front here, you can buy as many of them as you like. However, the items at the back are limited, so you can only buy one of each. And then in the cabinet, you can buy tools, DIYs, flowers, and wallpaper and flooring. And at the front of the shop here, you do have the drop-off box. So you can sell items here when the shop is not open because it does close at 10 o'clock at night. However, you do get 20% less for any items that you sell in here. And we have this little sign over on the right hand side. If you go up to it and press A, it will tell you what the hot item of the day is. So if you sell that item that day, you will get twice as much money for it. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope my little hints and tips will help you gather the materials that you need for your shop. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!